Well, hi there, and welcome to the Connie Fife Show. I'm Connie Fife, your unstoppable diva. And I, 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 I can't thank you enough for, for being here. Um, you, um, all of our listeners, you are the one that makes our show great. You're the one that comes back time and time again. And why we get these like reports that tell us we, we have like six and a half million impressions to our show just last month. So I want to thank you for being here. It's just phenomenal. And thank you for sharing and keep, keep sharing, keep sharing and heart us, heart us like crazy because we love you too. And, and, and really why, why our loyal listeners come back over and um, over and over again. And I'm one to do a little survey from time to time. And we did one recently where everybody got a Dairy Queen ice cream. But we asking like why why do you come why do you come back? What is it about our show that is, that is so attractive to you? And um, you know, a lot of things that we learned really is is what we do and what we talk about. And that is providing information, the tools, the skills, the tips for enhancing your personal development, enhancing your lifestyle business, building that lifestyle business, having that confidence, having that courage to, to do that and go out and do that. And that's exactly who we work with. We work with our clients to help them and work with them to turn their success into profit. Um, and you know, like, like I, said, I work with the world's most daring minds, and I truly believe that that is is exactly who we work with. Um, and those we work with, we're pretty selective how who we work with in our agency, our talent concierge agency. But those that we do decide to work with, it's it, it's it's kismet. It was it's a match. It's exactly who we need to be working with and they're exactly what they need to be to help them turn that success that they've already had in their life and, and, and really take that and turn that into a thriving business, whether it's speaking or writing their, you know, their book, their, their documentary, whatever that might be, or maybe even do podcasting interviews. Um, and, you know, all around that thought leadership, that's what we do. And again, I want to thank you because we do work with their clients to turn their success into profit for the world's most daring mind. So again, share, 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 and give us a little heart. We heart you, we heart you too. So let's move on with today's show. Um, phenomenal guest. Uh, uh, I mean, where, where do I start? Where do I start today? You're going to, you are going to learn how to unlock the best version of yourself best version of yourself. And we're going to talk about that today with our guest, who is a global thought leader, an international speaker, a spiritual mentor, and a number one best-selling author. She has a unique gift to identify and eradicate the unconscious programs that undermine our success. And, and y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. And when you're able to do that, then you can instantly amplify your ability to live freely and thrive. She, she offers a, a, a very rare combination of business savvy, transformational leadership, and soul enrichment. She's very down to earth. Um, her wisdom and couple that with all of her multi-dimensional gifts. And she really does create a profound, sustainable shift in everyone that she comes in touch with. So welcome to the table, Sandra Biskite, who is uh, committed. You are committed to working with leaders who are passionate about reaching that next level of success and being the world's most, most, most greatest minds. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Connie. It's just uh, really an honor to be here. Well, I'm so thrilled. I'm so thrilled that you were here. We realized before the show, we're not that far from each other. Next time we'll do, next time we'll do a, a live show, a face-to-face -face show. So um, as, as me, I don't know too many people that are native of Southern California, and you, you do have a very distinct accent. So where, where are you from originally? I was born in Australia and lived there mm -hmm. for 45 years until I met my husband in New Zealand, an American man who was getting New Zealand citizenship. And then I moved to New Zealand and lived there with him for 15 years. Okay. And then we lived by divine guidance. So we were told that 
um, this incredible resort that we had built on a power place of unconditional love, we mm. were told that we had to recreate that beautiful high frequency of love wherever we were in the world. And that once we could do that, we had to sell the resort and come to America. And I'm going, no, not America. New Zealand's far enough away from my home and family. Right. But it was to LA. And so here we are. We've been here for six years. Oh, it's it's about the same time as me. It'd be six years in October. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. it feels like forever, though, doesn't it? It's just it, it's it like does. We are where we belong. We we are. We definitely are where we belong. For me, my my spiritual guide and my pull is still back to the East Coast. Yeah. Okay. It, it, so where it, are you going? <laughs> uh, October. Really? <laughs> I am. Oh, that's that's exciting because you know you absolutely know when you get that spiritual guidance that you do um, well as much as we want to kick buck and weave and say no god please choose somewhere else we just know we have to go there and and i've been doing that i definitely have been doing that and came here with my husband with his 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 company and he shifted himself this past year and his his shift is also pulling him, but what he does is here. So we're buying. So we're buying a second home on the east on the east coast. And I guess that I'm going. I'm going in October. We've already put the the steps in the place to make it happen. Congratulations! Uh, yes, and I and I couldn't be more. Even over the weekend, my husband's like, he's like, I'm surprised you're not packing yet. <laughs> It won't take you long. That's what I said. I said, Sorry, I, I have it up here. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm calling the mover today. Watch, he's already been here. I'm calling him back to confirm the date. <laughs> I mean, so it's, it's all, all in work. But he'll stay here, and we'll, we'll do the back and forth for, for a bit of time. So a lot of the work that you do, and, and, and you, you mention that, and what you do is, is really a rare combination of business transformational leadership and also that that soul enrichment so i you know a couple of things i want i wanted to go there i really wanted to talk about the energy field and like i said i truly understand and i know when we're pulled in that energy around us and even for me being here and it's beautiful i mean i'm so i mean it, it is just beautiful here but that energy is still pulling me someplace else. So, and you talk about the energy, the energy of multiple past lives um, that also affects our current energy field. So how, I mean, how does that really affect us and impact us? Yeah, well, I think, I mean, you would have heard of Nikola Tesla. He was the man and the genius who was, is known as the genius who lit up the world. Mm. And he said that if you want to know the secrets of the universe, you have to think first in terms of energy, vibration, and frequency. Right. So we are, all of us are energetic beings, and we're very powerful energetic beings. Mm -hmm. And one of the most powerful parts of us um, are our thoughts. Yes. So that both conscious and unconscious. So it's our thoughts that are creating our frequency or the energy that we're vibrating at around us. And... Those thoughts can come from your parents, they can come from your conditioning as a child, mm -hmm. and they can come from past lives. And the majority of the time, believe it or not, 95% of the time, those thoughts are unconscious. In other words, they're hidden below the surface. Yeah. We like to say they're in the white space. Right. No, because if you have one tiny dot on a sheet of big white paper, that tiny dot is your unconscious, your conscious mind. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have much to say when the unconscious really, you know, pulls rank. And unfortunately, it pulls rank often, and it's it's always triggered by uh, the programs that are hidden there. And so, where when you become aware that mm -hmm. all of these beliefs, programs, ideas, and stories that we carry around with us that have an emotional charge attached to them, they can get triggered off and we can say and do things that we're going, whoa, is that really me? Did I really do it? Right. They also create negative life patterns and they mm -hmm. sabotage our ability 
to have the, the money, the abundance, the love, the life that we want. And the fact is, it's just not our problem because we don't know. As Jack Canfield said, you don't know what you don't know. Right. And that's why working in the unconscious mind and tapping into those frequencies that are stopping us and triggering us, for me, it's the most important thing you can do for yourself. Mm -hmm. What you're talking about with the energetic guidance is that you're actually talking about what physicists and scientists call tapping into our super consciousness or mm -hmm. the zero point field of all information. And if your listeners are interested, they should get a book by Bruce Lipton mm -hmm. called Biology of Belief or by Lynn McTaggart, a good friend of mine called The Field. And both of these people are talking about um, the scientific research that has gone into past lives, energy field, super consciousness, and the fact that we can all really tap into that and get the information that we need at any time. And if you're getting this pull to the West Coast, it's because there's a part of you that's, you know, like they're downloading this and it's saying, okay, this is where you need to be for now. And it's almost like you don't need to know why. Mm -hmm. You just you just know that you that when you don't follow that guidance, things go wrong. And when you do follow that guidance, you end up, um, you know, exactly where you should be. Right. And so following divine guidance, which is what you're about to do, mm -hmm. is very, very important. And it has an energetic, you know, divine guidance is fully the most, you know, that's the highest frequency guidance that you can get. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you go with that, you know, like I was told, I, given this guidance that I was going to marry this American gentleman before I even met him. And I'm like, oh, no, God, no, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. No. <laughs> and he walked in and I've gone, I'm oh, definitely not God. You've made a big mistake. <laughs> and I did kick him back. But it was a done deal, you know. Like yeah. he, he asked me to marry him on our very first date. And actually, I, wow. on our first date, we agreed that we were married as of that moment. Okay. Because, because that guidance is, you know, it didn't mean that it was easy. It just meant that we knew that, that this is what we were meant to do. This was right. a divinely arranged marriage, like your divinely arranged move. Right. Um, and, you know, 20 years later, we wake up in the morning and look at each other and, and still thank God for this relationship and, and we we have too much on the same path here because us as well 20 years new year's yeah. new, new year eve for us it was 20 20 years wow and we had a very similar experience when we first met <laughs> so, blessed ones, you know we're the blessed ones yes 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 um and that's the one thing that i've always been blessed with having having that gift and understanding that gift and that's why i've done a lot of research around that myself and you use it for your for your clients in in leadership and and in in business so how do how do you bring that into that uh that mix when you're talking about business or transformational leadership how do those gifts help help your clients achieve success and to be better well, we work with, you know, really successful entrepreneurs and mm -hmm. leaders and they, they know that there's always another level to go. And yes. They, but the reason why I love working with them the most is because they've got the mindset, they've got the tool set, they've spent, you know, all of their resources, time, energy, money yes. on becoming the person they already are. Right. However, they know that they've still got these niggly little things. Like I've just yeah. come out of a, um, an interview with Panash Desai, who's been on Super Soul Sunday with us <coughs> a few times. Now, <coughs> is considered you know, an enlightened being mm -hmm. and I did an interview with him and he actually asked me to work with him on the interview so mm -hmm. that um, he could get free of an unconscious program right so what happens is that you can work with a lot of other people who do brilliant work in the world I mean there's mm -hmm. so much good stuff happening there but, is yeah but if you're not working in the white space you're still going to have ancient or old um, events, emotions, and decisions mm -hmm. that are running your life that you don't know are there. And, and, and you're absolutely right about, um, and, and again, I work with, with that 
level of individual who I say have been in, in the trenches. They've been to the circus. They know what it takes and they definitely and fully understand that there's always another way of looking at things. There's always another way. And I, I, but I like how you're saying it, working in that white space yeah. to really, you know, magnify uh, the gifts that they have to bring back to the world because there are so, so many people doing some fabulous, fabulous things out there. And, you know, they're always looking for that mentor, that guidance, that, that someone, that guru, that's going to help them and take them to the next level of their success. You know, I think until you know how to do it for yourself, mm -hmm. really being able to have somebody who can clear out that old unconscious stuff is really, really important. And um, I know that, you know, like I, I use, I quoted Jack before because Jack's been, um, I'm one of his spiritual mentors. Okay. I've worked with him, his family and all of his stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, he, what he loves and he brings us into work with his students is that he teaches them some of the most profound success principle work and trainings on the planet. And he, what he says is, hey, I can teach them this mm -hmm. unless they can get in under what's stopping them from utilizing. Right. From getting the maximum return on investment, mm -hmm. then they're not going to succeed. And so that's why these people bring us in because we can delve into the root of the problem. I mean, I just, I love empowering people to yes. change the frequency so they can show up as the best version of they are completely clear and free of unconscious programs and I think that's you know my mission and Daniel and I together our mission mm -hmm. is to help set people free and now yeah. is that the code now is that your the code breakers a code it's I'm going to show you this <laughs> okay code breaker discover the password to unlock the best version of you this right. is right our legacy work in the world now a lot of people um, just simply can't get to us or can't afford it to work with us one-on-one -on -one or in our live events or online programs and so what we did was we said okay let's put this entire system mm. that we help people change their frequency and change their state instantly like mm. from, from going from worry and anxiety into trust right fear into love from unforgiveness into peace let's give them the password mm. and system that they can use to crack that success code. And with this was 40 years in the making, five years in the writing. And wow. during that five years, we did, we worked with thousands of people around the world testing the system and the process to make sure that what we were saying in the book was 100% accurate. So the results we're getting is that people's businesses are going through the roof. Um, just one quick thing. We just had a three-day event. We've got another one coming up in July. Mm -hmm. One man was a real estate agent and they were struggling a little bit. And uh, so he got up and I cleared out some of the unconscious money blocks and they went to lunch, he came back, he said, you won't believe this. I have two over the million dollar mark properties on the market. And during lunch, I just got offers on both of them. And he said, wow. what is that? And I'm going, that's what happens when you are free from what is yes. stopping us from having the abundance. And mm -hmm. my mantra for everyone is more, 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 more love, more friends, yes. more family, more joy, more money. It's like, yeah, that's what we've come here to experience. And yeah, the only reason why we're not is because of these unconscious programs. Well, let's take a really quick break. And when we come back, uh, I, I have a question for you. I, I started reading your book and there's one area about forgiveness. Oh, yes. So if we could talk about that, so just hang in there really quick and we'll be right back. And we're back and we are here um, on the Connie Fife Show. I'm Connie Fife and our unstoppable guest for today is Sandra Biskind. I, I forgot where I was for a moment because I've been so, so engrossed in our conversation. So um, the question that I had and when I, I was reading some of, of your material that you and your husband wrote together is forgiveness. You talk about forgiveness as a major component of of our system yes okay and and so i guess and 
I, I've learned the importance of that over, over years because there was um, somebody that I had to forgive um, from childhood. And because of everything that is going on in the world today and everybody's like, I, 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 know, I know I'm not going to say, say it eloquently, but everybody's attacking each other and, you know, you're not looking at me right or talking to me right. And I have so much, you know, angst that's been built up in my past and you talk about that. But why is it so important to forgive? Oh, it's such a big subject. <laughs> I mean, it's a hot... It is, it is. Because yeah. you know, when you can't forgive, these events and people take up rent-free space in our mind. And, and our mind, our ego mind is a master at separation. Mm -hmm. Separation separates us from our heart, from God, from each other. Um, you know, we go into judgment, we get attached to our stories, mm -hmm. we're right, they're wrong. So when we, when we get stuck in that loop, the ego mind will never, ever forgive. It might say, oh, I forgive you, but that's really just still judgment. The only place that true forgiveness comes from is from our true self. Yes. Like, that's the perfection and divinity that we are. Mm -hmm. That's that big hearted place that's where we forgive from and i call forgiveness enlightened self-interest because there was a study harvard study done where um, they studied people who could and couldn't forgive and the ones who mm -hmm. couldn't um they said that holding a grudge can kill you um yes. these people that couldn't forgive they were they were prone to cancer um high blood pressure right um, stroke unhappiness, poor relationships, colitis, and then the people who did forgive, and I mean really forgave, they had happier relationships, mm -hmm. more success in life. They didn't have any of the markers for those diseases. Now, that's a big reason to forgive. That's why I say it's enlightened. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, people can do such shocking things to us, and mm -hmm. we can experience such horrendous challenges and i don't think there's a human being on the planet that has been exempt from something oh. or something that has yes everybody has yes That's our hearts right mm -hmm. and so the re what we teach is a radical personal responsibility so what we're saying is that all of us remember i said we have the stories and the programs in our unconscious mind yes so let's just use this example because the majority of the women i work with around the world have this one Let's say that we've got this program and it says, I'm not good enough yeah. or I don't deserve love. And I'm writing it across my forehead because that's a frequency that is kind of starts to emanate. Mm -hmm. It means that that's the frequency in the script that we are giving unconsciously to the people around us. We're not saying it, but we're oscillating at that frequency. Right. I mean, like you might meet somebody who's lovely and they go, wow, you know, that person's really great. Oh, however... They don't love themselves. Oh, however, you know, they don't think they deserve a great relationship. Okay. And they start reading the script in award-winning style. Right. When the pain starts. So for, from now on, when somebody hurts you, and I'm speaking to all of the millions of amazing people who just love your show, Connie, you know, when, when somebody hurts you, rather than going into, you know, a victim mode. Right. How about, how about this? How about going into this mode of, wow, that really hurt me. What do I believe to be true about myself mm -hmm. that was triggered off then? Do you hear that's a real inquiry into why that hurt me? And that's called radical personal responsibility. And you'll find that when you do that, you'll find um, if you go back to a core, you'll find that, oh, it triggered me because. I really believe this. And I've got a really beautiful set of four questions that shift people's lives instantly so they can take that responsibility and get out of victim mode. Do you want to know what they are? I would love to, yes. Okay. By the way, they're in every they're chapter. They're in the book. <laughs> it's so important that we put them into every chapter. Yes. To the business people that we work with, when we, mm -hmm. uh, for me, for instance, at 27, when I started using these Four questions it took me from I was I was at below zero financially and three years later because they changed my frequency so much and they got me into creative mode I became a self-made millionaire by the age of 30 so these four questions are really important so the first one is you know how am I feeling so mm -hmm. like before they 
before someone came onto their show, they might have felt, well, hang on a minute, I'm upset about where am I going to find the money to pay that bill or that first date didn't go so well or, mm. you know, something that's upsetting you. And then the second question is, well, what am I focused on? And when you answer that one, it's like, oh, you know, those dates never work out anyway. Nobody really wants to have a second date with me. Money doesn't come to me easily. Mm. When it does, I get it. Yeah. And then the third question is, how do I want to feel? Now, this one starts to change your frequency pretty quickly. It's how do I want to feel? Hey, I want to feel confident and trust. Mm -hmm. It's working out for me for the highest and best good of me and everyone concerned. I, I, I want to know that I am a perfect divine being and I deserve love, no matter what I have said or done. And then the fourth question is, what focus will serve that? And that's like, wow. Okay, so yeah. now, now I, the, my focus is, wow, I need to be grateful for, for knowing and understanding that I am a mm. perfect divine that I can trust that I'm being looked after, loved and supported on every level. The minute you start shifting your focus from victim up here, right. inquiry, you come down here where it's much easier to forgive mm -hmm. for writing the story and other people for triggering off pain within you. But, you know, I've had business people use those questions and their staff, you know, they, they, they no longer have staff turn around because when you're, when you walk into a room and you're oscillating at this really high frequency of, yes. of and understanding who you are, people naturally want to work with you. Oh, they want to, they want to be with you and follow you. And, uh, and, and I, and I went through a lot of this transformation myself. And even when I was CEO, I, you know, I had to go through that. Yes. And, and to regain my confidence. And uh, it took me a while for the forgiveness to happen, but it, it did. Um, and, and it just, my, my life just completely changed. And I, know, and I know exactly what you're saying. It just completely shifted at that point. Yeah, the minute you can truly forgive, you mm -hmm. are set free to move on to the next adventure. Yes. Right, yeah. yeah. I had, when you're talking about this work with successful people, I had one um, very, very successful multi-New York Times bestselling author who was a private client, and um, she was about to go into a meeting with the New York publisher, and she rang me and said, hang on a minute, I'm, I'm actually feeling a bit anxious. I'm not sure about mm -hmm. it. And so I just spent an hour with her and I went over her entire marketing plan and then I corrected out the anxiety okay. and the lack of trust and the lack of love, you know, because she was mm. in fear at that stage. And she rang me three hours later and said, oh, I just got a million dollar advance on this <laughs> and you did that. And I just burst out laughing. I said, no, you did that. Right. Because you showed up. You were prepared with a brilliant marketing plan. You were on such a high frequency and so magnetic and believed mm -hmm. so fully in what you were doing in your business that they just wanted to work with you no matter what the cost. Right. And I said, well, what did you think you were going to get? She said, oh, in the publishing industry these days, I would have been lucky to get 250000 So yeah. she 4X'd her business wow. by simply getting clear of the unconscious. And that's, right. why, that's why this legacy work that is Codebreaker, that's why this is so important because when uh, your, your beautiful people go through the book, they'll learn the system, they'll do the inquiry, they'll do the meditations mm -hmm. and they'll get the corrections to actually come to this clear space where they can have similar results. Well, let me, let me keep moving on because this is all wonderful, all wonderful information. So this is our, our, um, our hot seat, <laughs> our straight talk. Uh, so in our straight talk, we ask you to complete a couple of questions. So this first question I would like you to complete, which is, I am unstoppable because. I am unstoppable because I know I am a perfect divine being. And... When I slip out of that knowledge, I just bring myself straight back to it because that's where I want to resonate. That's the best version of who I am. So the ultimate transformation only happens when? 
when you clear out your unconscious beliefs, programs, ideas, and stories. So what is beyond positive? Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Going beyond positive is so important because when you're, when you're negative and you're positive, you're still attached to something. So when you go beyond positive, you get neutral. And neutrality is another word for enlightenment. It's mm. where you can become the silent observer of what's going on around you without attaching your perceptions, projecting your judgments, and actually just being allowing and being happy to be in the space you're in and allowing others to show up as they are, even if you don't agree with it. Neutrality is the big kahuna mm. of the transformational world. Okay, so many many of us have a disease to please. Yes. <laughs> and in in the work that you do, how are you living your life with intention? Oh, my intention is very clear that I that that whenever I feel fear, negativity or pain, mm -hmm. I understand I've been booked into an ego mind game and it's time for me to to do a U-turn and get back into being the being that I want to be. And so that intention always keeps me where I need to go. Yeah. And, and by Beautiful. the way, Daniel and I use the system in the book to help us with that on a daily basis. That's beautiful. Beautiful. So what is, or answering the question, the sexiest trait on the planet? <laughs> I, I love that too. <laughs> because, you know, there's a couple, but one of the sexiest traits on the planet. Can you imagine? You, I know that you're probably living with this because Daniel and I know that we are dedicated to each other's happiness and we're dedicated to supporting our partner into yes. being the best version of who they are. Can you, how sexy is that? It doesn't matter what someone looks like. It doesn't matter about anything. If they were absolutely totally had the conviction mm -hmm. that what they wanted to do was to help support you in becoming the best version of you. I don't think there's much sexier than that. No, I, I, I would have to agree. My husband and I are the, yeah. uh, we, we are definitely soulmates. And yeah, I can feel that. We, you know, we joke that we're split apart. <laughs> <laughs> probably not a joke. No, I, I don't, I don't believe that it is. Um, so I, I, I definitely, definitely under, understand that. So, so there is, and we, we touched on this a little bit, um, so much negativity that, that is, is happening around the world. So do you buy into that narrative? No. In fact, I, look, honestly, I, I will jokingly say I can't afford the luxury of a negative thought. Mm. But in actual fact, it's not really a joke. Um, because the minute you get hooked into that world consciousness, the minute mm -hmm. you get to the news, the politics, what's going on in the world, that's the minute that you slip out of neutrality. That's the minute that you can no longer be objective, that you're no longer tapped into your own creativity and wisdom. And it's the moment where you start adding to the negativity. And, you know, we just, mm. as transformational leaders, we absolutely cannot do that. Our job and mission is to raise the frequency of the planet. And the minute you get hooked into the negativity, you're not doing your job. So, yeah. And we have a mission and purpose to help. Yeah. So we're not going to be going there. Right. I mean, that, that, that self-negative speak, yes. that, you know, too, too often. I mean, and that's what we need to move beyond. We need to, to get beyond that. And, and, and the, the other thing, too, and I know for me, um, I surround myself with truth tellers. I call them my cabinet of truth tellers. So do you do the same? Sure, <laughs> um, I, I I just say I mean my and again my husband is mine and trust me he yes. tells it <laughs> but I but I want him to in between him and my daughter um, you know I want them to be that way though exactly so what Daniel and I do is we're incredibly blessed we're members of the transformational council and the association for transformational leaders so we have around us hundreds of people who actually are on that high frequency, on that um, information mm. highway that we're on. And every Thursday night in our home, 
we have 11 people join us for what we call a platinum healing circle. And so I have these angels descend into the home and we open with a prayer. We give each other divine guidance. Mm -hmm. No hiding anything. Like it's like whatever you're going through, it's out. Right. And it, and it comes with some guidance. And then we give, then we have meditation and a closing prayer. So once a week, Daniel and I are kind of at the spiritual filling station where no matter what's been happening to us, we get to take a deep breath. We're in this mm -hmm. payment for the soul. And these people tell the truth. These are the people that um, are so, they're our sisters and brothers. And I would just say to everybody, find your tribe, find the people who uplift you, you know, yeah. find people who, if you're slipping into victim mode, if you have a slip in your magnificence. Right, and we do. Right, all of us do. That they will say, hey, did you realise that you said that? Or did you mean to say it that way? Um, you know, like ask, just ask questions with yes. no question attached. You know, a good friend won't judge you. They'll just continue to love you no matter what you're saying and doing. And so that's the, that's the key for me. Mm -hmm. You actually have those people around you. Yeah. It, it reminded me, and I just, I just pulled this up really quickly, of um, re really a, a, an affirmation. Like you said, you had somebody call you. Um, I, I have this um, very powerful high level businessman that I work with and you know and sometimes we have these conversations and he's like oh that's all that fluffy stuff yeah. but right and 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 we we got to the point now where he'll call me you know before a board meeting or you know before something important just to again help clear his mind out so I actually with him we wrote this this affirmation that he, for him to use and it's it's when you see me coming you should be proud of I am coming without ego without arrogance I have the pleasure and freedom to fill myself up so we took it from a place of him again making you know with the fear of am I reporting to the board of directors the way I need to be to He's holding that space within himself. Absolutely. And yeah, now he probably realizes that the fluffy stuff does work. Oh yeah, he does. And you know, he'll come. Okay. Could I give me, he'll give me some of that fluffy stuff. <laughs> well, actually, I kind of like fluffy stuff because it's better than woo woo or whatever. Yeah, right, right, right. Now, when our son introduces us at live events, he says, oh, I want to introduce you to the skinny Buddha and the mother of dragons and I'm, <laughs> And I'm the spawn of woo. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. So, so what's so what's next? Where where do you go from here? Um, next project. Yeah, the next project is um, in uh, July. We have a live <coughs> in Del Rey. Uh, you should come to this with your husband. It would be super. I want to. I want to. Yeah, I definitely want to get more information. Yeah, definitely. I'll send you the link to this live event. It's okay. Like, for three days, we take people, we teach them the system. They're immersed in this beautiful divine spiritual energy. People mm. say that it's like spending three weeks in India condensed into three days. Mm. And people are just getting clear, clear, clear. For the whole three days, they're getting cleared out. Because when I work with one person, everyone in the room gets the same correction. Okay. Be outstanding. Um, after the live event, uh, we're doing a lot of talks, and I think our online programs are what is what really blowing me away. Mm -hmm. It's where we have a group of people from all over the world who get to come on to a program called Quantum Source Code, and we spend sixteen weeks going through the system in Codebreaker with eight live calls. And during those calls, we give people a transmission of energy. We um, clear them out of unconscious programs. Oh, and that just reminded me, this Thursday, I'm not sure when your show is going live, but if your people are interested in working with us in a free masterclass, this Thursday at 12 o'clock, we've got a free masterclass happening. Mm -hmm. We'll be going through all of that. And uh, they get to really have that soul experience. Okay, okay. We we'll definitely share that information. We could push it out even before we, we put the show live. So so let let our listeners know where they can find you. The best place to find more information about us and how to work with us is the Biskinds, T H E B I S K I N D S, the Biskinds.com. And that, that will just give you loads of information, lots of free meditations and tools. And if you want the book. Codebreaker. And by the way, 
don't forget the journal, which goes with it. You know, because when people get a book like this, you have it for a life. Right. And you have to get the journal to actually to. write in, yeah, everything in. <laughs> so, um, the book of journal, the quickest place and the place I'd love you to go to is codebreakerbook.com. That's codebreakerbook.com. Codebreakerbook, one word. Okay. Because on codebreakerbook.com, I'm giving you that one simply because we've created three free meditations that complement them in the book. Okay. I'd love your, your beautiful people to be able to have um, the free meditations. Mm, lovely. I'd love that. Just, I, I thank you. Um, uh, I, know, I mean, the work that you're doing, um, yeah, I mean, and again, I always tell everyone, you know, thank you for being unstoppable with your life. I mean, you're doing more than that. Uh, I mean, you're just helping so, so many, so many people, I mean, open that light within them and to be able to find their success. So again, I want to thank you for being here today. Uh, Connie, thank you for the wonderful work that you're doing in the world. It's really um, wonderful to meet and be with another light soul sister. Thank you. No, you're welcome. And that's all we have for today, everyone. Um, again, I, I love our tribe. I love our family. I'm, thank you to our members each week for being here. Remember to keep on sharing, um, you know, because the more you share, the more these high quality individual guests that we can bring, bring you and share so much valuable information to help you take what you do and just turn that into a life that you love living, that you love doing. And that's what most lifestyle entrepreneurs are doing because they didn't want that nine to five grind anymore. And a lot of our listeners are still there, but that's what they love doing. And we want to make sure that you're doing and you're loving what you do. I'm Connie Five. I'm a recovering C-suite executive, CEO myself, and we will continue to move ideas forward and keeping the passion of life activated. And if you want to do some advertising on the Connie Five Show, just simply head over to the Show.com and we're always looking for new, wonderful, and exciting guests for the shows. And also make sure that you check out Talent Concierge, talentconcierge.com co for details i'm connie fife and i'm going to leave you with this this uh simple quote for today which is your limitation is your only your imagination i'm connie fife and you're listening to the connie fife show remember to keep on sharing and be the daring mind who turns success into profit until next time take care